पे कहूँ ना प्यार है आई वॉज अ वन फिल्म वंडर टर्म एज अ वन फिल्म वंडर बाय अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल देन सडनली आफ्टर के थ्री जी आई बिकेम अ टू फिल्म वंडर नाउ आफ्टर कोई मिल गया आई एम अ थ्री फिल्म वंडर एंड मे बी आफ्टर फिफ्टी ईयर्स आई विल बी अ फिफ्टी फिल्म वंडर सो आई वंडर इफ आई यूज टू वंडर इफ दीज यू नो थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेदर आई शुड वेस्ट माई टाइम इवन थिंकिंग अबाउट इट डजेंट मैटर एट ऑल आई मीन uh no man or a uh, magazine can predict or foretell the destiny of another man living up to the expectations of my father was the the biggest thing in my mind i could not have I could not have the fear of failing in his eyes was worse than the fear of failing in my eyes <laughs> at that time during kahuna pyar hai which is why I could not let him down um so right through the making of kahuna pyar hai I did each and everything that I could possibly do to directly or indirectly help me in my acting mm-hmm. in my work <laughs> I worked with my father as an assistant for 6 years before I really faced the camera with him. So in those 6 years I uh we I understood him a lot because when you uh, stand as a student and you watch uh you get to learn a lot. I imbibed a lot of his instincts. So there is a lot of uh uh silent understanding between Me and him. आपने कहा था ना सर कि अपने बाप से सीख क्या मैं अपने पापा से सीख क्या सर कोई मिल गया वॉज नॉट कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ माई फेल फिल्म एज इन द कॉन्सेप्ट द आइडिया ऑफ कोई मिल गया केम राइट आफ्टर द सक्सेस ऑफ का होना प्यार सो इट वॉज नॉट डिटर्मिंड or you know from okay what to do now rithik films have not fared well so what to do now no it was the next step after kahuna pyar hai was the next uh, thing that dad got in his head so there was no pressure at all it was i think my most heartfelt performance till date a lot of times in my previous films even with kahuna pyar hai and all the other films that i've done i've always you know uh, when the film was about 90% complete i used to have you know i i used to gauge the minimum and the maximum that this film could do and then i used to cut off from the film i used to be able to detach and then go on with my life because i had adjusted myself to the minimum that it could do and the maximum that it could do so i was okay with both i used to get okay with both and i used to carry on with my life but for the first time in my life with koi mil gaya i have realized that i was so attached to it that i could neither determine the minimum or the maximum and i could neither detach from it i love I think relate to Rohit uh, more than I have related to any other character that I have played so far. Uh, re- uh, because I guess all of us in, in our in our childhood have uh, you know walked that path one time or the other. The path of uh, you know being embarrassed, the path of not uh, matching up to your your peers. peer pressure you know sometimes you don't look good enough sometimes you make a fool of yourself you're not intelligent enough you know uh somebody dances better than you you can't dance you're shy there are girls you know so many various things and every child goes through that so i just i got rohit from my childhood rohit in uh very simple terms is an extension of of my childhood
I think I had put in so much. If this time my character would have not been accepted, or this film would have not worked, uh, it would have broken my heart. I don't think I would have found the motivation or uh, the energy or the drive to ever put in so much into anything else in my life again. So I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm thankful to God that he has reaffirmed my belief in the equation that I believe in, that honest hard work equals success.